What's going on guys? So today I want to talk about a new flashlight that's pretty exciting to me. This is the WowTac uh, W1. All right, this is a uh, newer model in their lineup. And to date, my favorite WowTac flashlight yet. Uh, for a couple reasons. It's very compact, very lightweight, and affordable. All right, they sell this for 20 bucks. All right, I get a ton of people, mostly like knife and gun guys and gals, that kind of have an interest in flashlights. Like when you get into the whole gear community, whether you're specifically like guns or you specifically like flashlights or knives or whatever, they all kind of, they have like a crossing. So if you like knives, you tend to hear about guns a little bit. If you like guns, you tend to hear about knives a little bit. If you like knives, you tend to hear about flashlights a little bit. You start hearing about the EDC thing, right? It's just, it all kind of blends together. It's just a gear community. Um, but I get a lot of people who ask me like, hey, you know, I want a, a nice flashlight. Uh, I have a nice knife. I carry this, that, and the other. But I'm looking for a flashlight, but I don't want to spend a bunch of money. But then when they talk about things that they want, like, oh, I want it to be small, I want it to be, you know, pretty bright, or at least this bright, it starts increasing that price, right? This falls into a very sweet spot for people who have an EDC, right, who want to carry a bunch of different gear to be prepared, but they just don't want to spend a bunch of money on their stuff. This is the, the beater flashlight. This is the go-to flashlight now, for me anyway, at least for recommendations, uh, for people who want to get into something that's a lot brighter, uh, also rechargeable, but still won't break the bank, right? So for 20 bucks, what do we have here? We have a small little flashlight with a couple different modes. This does run on a kind of odd sized battery. This is a 16340, all right? But it is rechargeable. It's not a you know simple battery you're gonna find at Walmart or anything like that. 650 milliamp hour. Um, I always recommend if you guys are looking for flashlight batteries to check out Battery Junction. They've always been a uh, very close relationship with like uh, CPF or Candle Power Forms. They do discounts as well. So if you you know do a Google on Candle Power Forms, you could probably find uh, a discount. But they just have an awesome selection of batteries. It's always been a go-to for me for like CR123s or 18650s, things like that. Uh, so although you have kind of an odd size battery, it does have a little charging port on the side, okay, with a cover does come, I'll show you all the accessories in a second here, uh, but it is a little rechargeable flashlight, all right, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, replacing batteries too often. Eventually, and this goes with all flashlights, any rechargeable battery will have a lifespan. So as you use it, recharge it, and use it, recharge it, you know, it might be a year, might be five years, 10 years, whatever the case may be, it depends on how much you use your flashlight. Eventually, the battery's not gonna charge anymore, so people have to understand that as well, so you will need more batteries down the road. All right, so here's a closer look at the flashlight. All right, you can see it's all black with a silver bezel, which is kind of interesting, something a little bit different. It doesn't really unscrew anything, just the whole head unscrews from the body, as you saw there, to get to the battery compartment. Um, business ends, all right, take a look at that LED. Uh, we have a Cree XP G2 LED in here, all right, and we have a very heavily stippled reflector. Uh, because this has a smaller head, even though it has um, plenty of throw, for this size flashlight, I mean, this does kind of reach out. It is a little bit more of a concentrated beam, okay? So it's not like totally flood or anything. It's a little combination between flood and throw. Uh, indoors, I have a small house, so the longest stretch of my house is probably 25 feet. Um, and in that case, it totally lit up the entire wall. Uh, but if you have a much farther distance indoors, you know, it will be more concentrated as opposed to, you know, completely flood or anything like that. All right, very simple knurling. All right, we do have a uh, side switch, no tail clicky because this is a magnetic uh, butt cap, okay? So, let me grab my uh, knife of the day. All right, so you can see this is totally magnetic, all right, which really does come in handy. There's a ton of different various options you could use this for. The first thing that always comes to my head is inside of an engine bay. You can, you know, magnetize this to, you know, the side of things or the hood or whatever. Um, this is really coming handy, having a magnetic flashlight. All right, so that's something you may like, may not like. Obviously, it does uh, tail stands, which is a huge deal for me. And I've talked about this tons, but, you know, when the power goes out and you want a flashlight, it's really nice to be able to, well, that's actually too bright for <laughs> the demo there because of the uh, camera. Um, but when you want to, uh, you know, light up a room, you could put this on whatever mode is appropriate and then tail stand it on a table. Uh, this is particularly nice in a bathroom, okay? If the power goes out in your house and you still have to use the facilities, you just put this on the counter by the sink or whatever and it'll light up the whole room, All right? So I really do uh, value um, that particular function in any flashlight is able or capability to tail stand. All right, you can see there is a little lanyard hole on the bottom. Actually, let's talk about the uh, accessories real quick. All right, you get your charging cable, of course, USB charging cable, 
does come with a pocket clip it slips around the base here I'm opting not to use a pocket clip right now because I'm still using that uh, pocket organizer right so I don't need a clip did come with um, a spare cover for the charging port in case that rips because it is rubber and two spare o-rings does come with this paper here that is a reminder it says please screw down the light head and tail cap tightly before use all right so they're saying is that when you change the battery or whatever you're doing you're taking it apart if you don't put this down all the way it's obviously not going to function okay so it has to be all the way tight to make that connection so this is basically a little reminder there all right paperwork this is going to be the run times, outputs, all that kind of good stuff. A couple different languages here as well. So you can pause the screen right there and you can go over these, you know, different uh, outputs and run times. All right. Uh, on high, the very highest mode is 562 lumens. That's ridiculous for this tiny little light. I mean, the weight on this is two ounces. It's like just over two ounces with the battery. All right. Fully charged. So that's amazing. It's a teeny little light that's super bright. Um, and the modes are the same as other wild tacks or through nights or anything where and I'm quite used to this at this point But in the off position if you push a long hold you get that um, little firefly type mode super little uh, Light output obviously the highest capacity uh, or highest runtime rather not capacity uh, So I mean I've done tests like this numerous times before you can leave this outside in this mode for for days weeks or months Just depends on the battery size um, once you uh, click the uh, flashlight on if you push and hold it'll cycle through low medium and high at any point You can double click to the turbo mode. That's that full 562 lumens All right, keep in mind with all flashlights, especially you know these very powerful tactical lights that highest output doesn't last the entire duration So if it says that you have an hour battery life, you're not going to get the 562 lumens for an hour uh, It really you know differs between different lights. You might get it for five minutes and it cuts the power it might be 10 minutes It might be 20 seconds all right, it really does uh, differ from light to light, but it's something that a lot of people uh, misunderstand. Okay, when you see that highest output on a flashlight, it's not for the entire duration of that battery. Okay, it just kills, it cuts back on power for a variety of reasons. A lot of times it has to do with heat. Once a lot of heat is generated, you know, it can damage the internals, the circuit board, things like that. Now there is a strobe mode in here at any point, whether it's on or off, you do uh, three consecutive clicks. All right, so one, two, three, and you have your strobe mode. This is very effective for self-defense. I've talked about this numerous times in the past. Um, for me, it's more animal related than people related. You know, if I happen to stumble across a very large predatorial animal, I may not necessarily want to shoot it or hurt it or anything like that. So I'd rather just spook it away or scare it away. And a strobe mode could be very effective for that. And when the flashlight is on, you can see there is an LED indicator in the button, which is very nice. Let you know, of course, when your battery power is low so you can charge it. Uh, overall, it's just a really cool flashlight. Um, for 20 bucks, this is definitely a new recommendation for me. There are a variety of different lights. Uh, some are a little bit smaller. I do like, you know, recommending lights with simple battery sources like a single AA or a single AAA battery. Just more common battery source, but if you're looking for a rechargeable, I would definitely recommend this one just because of the price. It does offer a ton of different things. It's tiny, it's compact, you can slip it in the pocket or you can clip it to something if you want. Uh, it just seems like a really, really cool flashlight so far. It's been, it's been working out really well. Um, WowTac does have a Facebook page. They're giving away a hundred of these lights. I don't know exactly the details as to how. It's probably just like a newsletter sign up or something. Don't quote me on that. I don't know for sure, but someone did point out the fact that they're giving away a bunch of these on their Facebook page, which is uh, WowTac flashlights. So if you guys just want to try to win one, you know, see why not. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend it. As of uh, right now, it's been working out really well. It's just uh, a lot of light, little package. You know that's affordable that's the biggest thing is being affordable there's a ton of really awesome flashlights in the market when i talk to people about it and they're like oh i want this this and this and i say all right well check out this light oh that's really cool but you know 50 bucks or 60 bucks that's a lot of money and i totally understand that uh, some people definitely see the value in having a flashlight but they don't want to put a bunch of investment into that you know because realistically you can get a five dollar flashlight and it can probably light up your door you know, to get your keys, you know, to unlock your house when you get home, or if you happen to drop something outside at night, pretty much any flashlight's gonna find it. It's just a matter of what you need your flashlight for. But for an EDC flashlight, you don't need a ton of capability. This just happens to have a ton of capability. And in the $20 price range, now you're entering into, you know, commonly found flashlights like dollar stores, like Home Depot, Lowe's, you know, hardware stores, things of that nature, where you're gonna buy like Rayovac type stuff or Energizer flashlights. 
you know, if you're gonna spend 15 or 20 dollars, you might as well get something, you know, that's gonna fit your needs. And this one happens to be really compact, whereas a lot of those other flashlights are not. They're full-size flashlights meant for, you know, sticking in a garage or your utility room or something. You know, power goes out, you grab a big old flashlight. You know, that's fine for the average person, but if, again, if you're into the whole, you know, EDC thing and the whole gear game, let's call it, uh, this is a very cool option. So anyway, that's all. Just wanted to talk about that a little bit. I thought it was uh, pretty impressive and uh, has been in the uh, recent EDC rotation as far as flashlights go. This is definitely a, a light that I'm going to keep in my bag just because it's smaller. I absolutely love that Olight, uh, the Warrior that I've been carrying, but it's heavy. It is really heavy, and I'm trying to cut back on weight because that in my leg pocket, on my uh, in my pants, those new tactical pants that I have, um, it's cool to have all that capability, but I just don't need it at hand. I can always keep that in my vehicle close by. Something like this makes way more sense for just on my person. Uh, weight really became a, a huge issue once I started carrying a bunch of stuff at once like that. Uh, so yeah, this is now the go-to for the flashlight for that uh, EDC organizer. So anyway, just want to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.